34 years of age, Ballina, New South Wales, and I'm a battler. I was definitely, I was pretty shy as a kid, I, so no, I was very well behaved as a kid, and and uh, yeah, no, I'm I'm pretty much an open book. I think I no no secrets. <laughs> I hope no secrets. My name's Tim Van Berkel. I'm from Cumberland, New South Wales. I've been racing professional triathlon for 12 to 13 years now. Uh, so I grew up in Albury, Wodonga, uh, played a bit of Aussie rules football, and yeah, started to, my triathlon career started down there. And I was working at the time, I was, I was doing a trade in metal fabricating, and, and I was doing triathlon and you know, trying to do triathlon and, and work a job. You know, it was really hard so I kind of had to make a decision and I actually decided to give this triathlon thing a real red hot go and and I quit my job and I remember my boss telling me you know what kind of a you know you're not going to make any career out of being a triathlete there's you know you're not going to make there's no money there's no you know so yeah so I end up quitting that job and and going on and and uh, becoming a professional athlete and yeah the rest is history. I don't like to do too much of a prep as I find I can get a little bit stale during it or get a, get very tired, you know, an Ironman build is very very demanding on the body and the mind, so if I'm fit, I would give myself like a good six to eight weeks tops, but if I'm not fit, well obviously I need a, a bit of a longer build, at least, you know, two or three months to work up to some fitness so um, for South Africa I had a pretty big long build because I had a long break over the Chrissy period so I had to work up to some fitness but I did some early season racing which, which helped that so yeah if I'm already fit six to eight weeks is uh, which is which is plenty always a, a few drinks either celebrating a, a good race or drowning the sorrow so um, yeah, look, I, some races I get really disappointed, especially like a race like Hawaii, especially last year, I got I got really emotional and pretty upset about it, which I haven't done in a long time over a race, just because I invested so much time in that race and, and, and to get, and to be in good form and only to be robbed of, to getting a penalty, which kind of ruined my day and, and really wrecked another, have had a top five there which would have been my best result ever so I think that um, it really destroyed me that race and I really I was pretty upset about that one but it's definitely motivated motivated me for this year and um, yeah hungry to to get back to the big island and hopefully get that result that I know I'm quite capable of doing Hi, I'm Belinda Van Berkel. I'm Tim Berkel's wife. So being, I guess, married to a professional triathlete, there's a lot of highs and lows. It's a bit like a roller coaster constantly. Um, you know, he's you know has good days and bad days. And I guess that's like anyone with their jobs. You know, they're stressful. Um, Tim's pretty good at managing it. We, we we sort of know when to avoid him when he's in peak training, and we give him a little bit more space and necessary and I spend time out with my horses and Hendrix comes with me and we just avoid him but he does a lot of his big training um, at other destinations which is good for us as a family because it takes a bit of our stress off us not having to deal with him in peak training. I think racing the, the stronger fields and racing the best of the best brings the best out of me so I, I definitely like lining up for the big races that's why I you know every year I at least target a championship race or and a world championships. Like I, I really like racing those big races, and that's what motivates me. Hard, my strength. Enjoy. Love my road bike. Mountain, definitely my Camino tri suit. The goat. Tough. Ah, oh, the female goat. The best feeling. My little man. Favorite drink. Also my favourite drink. <laughs> Love my coffee. Reed or Apo? <laughs> oh, oh, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. I love my boys. Um, I'll say Reedy. Sorry, Apo. 